The Ruby 3D printer I mentioned in the previous video. Actually, the early bird order is uh, beginning in January 20, 2019, and uh, they are planning to ship in the February 15. So actually, shipping day is a little bit late, uh, one or two weeks late, and uh, they are finishing shipping before the Chinese New Year on end of uh, February. So they say they planning the early bird order is around 50. But uh, if uh, over the 50, they still fulfill the order for the special price around $600. So I got my machine and uh, before the Chinese New Year. Many people ask me about the uh, uh, Ruby 3D printer I saw in the last video. But uh, when I go back to the uh, Taobao station, uh, Taobao shop, it doesn't show anything on the Taobao shop right now. It's uh, everything is gone. So it's it's look like they are abandoned the uh, Taobao shop. This is very unusual because uh, they got on here free diamond. That means the Taobao shop is uh, starting from the. 2015, it's very really difficult to earn free diamond because they, they need to uh, build a store for a long time, also be a good service and uh, reliable to earn free diamond. Around a few weeks ago, I can still find their saw, uh, have some kind of 3D printing and uh, other stuff, only don't have the new printer I show you. I just do some research, uh, searching on the uh, internet and uh, they also don't have anything so on AliExpress. Uh, previously, they have some printer, small, uh, small resin printer showing the AliExpress. I found on this online shop, they are still listing their product. So they call the Zhu uh, Meng Sanwei uh, 3D printer. That, that means the translating is around something like Casting Jun. Uh, that's what, what a short name is. They are from the location. They are from is uh, Sichuan Zigong. That means uh, Sichuan province, which is uh, famous for the uh, Mala uh, hot pot in Sichuan. So this is a uh, this printer is what they get. They are famous for. It's a very big uh, Delta 3D printer. So I think these two guys they are found out. And uh, this one is very, quite quite a bigger three D printer. It's also selling for uh, three thousand ninety nine uh, renminbi. It's around uh, six hundred U S dollar. So what they call the high C P value, and uh, the pin value is uh, four hundred diameter, uh, four hundred three thirty diameter and uh, six hundred millimeter high. First layer launch uh, 3D printer, which is quite a big water and quite big in size, which get they like, are famous in the Chinese market. And uh, but on other article, I only uh, see their this 3D printer they only selling around ten or twenty per month. So it's really not selling much, uh, very much. This is another work page I found in China where I call uh, 3D printing uh, community in the Baidu. Uh, and uh, this is someone open box uh, 3D printer of this Delta 3D printer from their uh, purchase. So you can see it's uh, Quite good quality one. So from this, I can see their strategy is uh, similar. They they produce something very big and very uh, in the reasonable quality compared with the other big manufacturer. When I try to search the news of the Ruby 3D, and I found some uh, newspaper reporting. And uh, it's formed by a young man called uh, Zhuang Yongji. 
and uh, he is born in uh, 1994, and uh, he's a student of uh, Sichuan Institute of uh, Technology University. They found uh, 3D printing uh, workshop in 2016. As they say, uh, around nine months, they are creating a sales figure of uh, 700,000 RMB. They got a student small team, and uh, they began to print in some uh, prototype or uh, other things for the small company. 70,000 RMB is around 10,000 US dollar in nine months. So it's around 1,000 something US dollar a month. Uh, it's not a very big figure. I think it's will reduce the material cost of the 3D printing and also price of buying 3D printing machines. Not much of a part, uh, the, the cost, uh, the profit. Uh, I don't think they make too much profit. But it's uh, enough to earn their price of uh, entrepreneurs, of the university student. So, this is a guy, uh, one in the price, and uh, so the university, I think, got some funding or also some promotion for for this guy to start his own company to uh, building his own 3D uh, printing machine, and uh, here is talking about uh, in two thousand sixteen. He began to make the first 3D printing machine. That's the, the big one I showed before. This one's the bigger one. And uh, they also selling the price is uh, 3099 uh, around 4000 RMB. It's around uh, 600 US dollar. And uh, here is a kind uh, of uh, exhibition. They are I think it's in the classroom or something. They show into their uh, the organization or, or the leader in the university or something. And here's another article about them. Uh, say they are produce some uh, cheaper price three D printing machine and uh, the university graduate student. Uh, go on uh, reward. The article say they are in the, when the joint kit in the, their uh, student years, they, they buy four 3D printing machine to starting a company to uh, building prototype for other company. He say he found the 3D printing machine in the market is a uh, too small, the printing volume is too small, and uh, all the, uh, otherwise the big one is too expensive. So he began to uh, think about to make the three D printing machine himself. So he uh, make the first Delta one. This uh, here say they are selling figures around only ten to twenty uh, per month. So it's not really a big figure. So I believe they are, don't even have their own production line. So maybe they just outsourcing the parts to build outside and uh, assemble the 3D printing machine themselves because around 15 3D printing machine per month, I think, I believe, it's not justified for them to hire too many workers. They can just assemble uh, one 3D printing machine per day by themselves. Here's another related article. Say, uh, Zhuang Yunggi is a, a university student entrepreneur hero. Uh, young people uh, look up uh, to his example uh, to uh, to start uh, starting the company itself.
Down here is a uh, son. Uh, young entrepreneur started up uh, uh, meeting or, uh, or gathering. On here is uh, his uh, workshop. I think uh, it's uh, uh, something he picked out. On here is uh, the f the small one, the first resin one they are built. It's uh, similar to other five point five inch uh, resin printer. So what I believe is uh, what happened to the Rebu PD is uh, they uh, deliver their first uh, bench and uh, they have uh, some, some deal with their uh, pass supplier to making uh, more parts for the following uh, order. So when the first delivery uh, been going to the hand of user, and some problem uh, report back to the uh, Ruby PD. So maybe they try to modify and uh, improve on the path. The path manufacturer supplier maybe have argument with them, so uh, they have a need. They need to build some new deals to to uh, make some new paths. But I think they don't have the money or the funding to make some new deals, or maybe they encounter some other problem, just get into some trouble, so they just stop production and all. all. Maybe even more seriously, they, they lack of funding or something. So they even stop uh, all their business. So this is uh, the linking of the Ruby 3D machine in the Taobao shop. This item is already taken down from the listing. If you go to their homepage, it's just, just so nothing. On the, this portal page, uh, if you go to the review page, the early bird receiver is quite, actually quite happy with the portal because I think uh, for the price, just what I, like what I say, it's a it's good deal for the price, for the early bird price. So this is some uh, other users uh, pinning out. Here's another user. They say the, uh, the they're quite happy with the, the machine and the after sales is quite uh, pumped up to uh, solve all any kind of problem. Here's another user. But the last one uh, and the the newest one is just like what I say, the the company is a. Uh, Taking down all the product and they don't show up and they doesn't answer any questions support anymore. So this guy say, uh, he don't know where to go to. Uh, <laughs> few days ago, he still can reach the uh, customer support for answering the question, but afterwards, it's just everything is gone. So this guy say, don't know where to go for the. So for. This lesson, I think, is just a typical uh, young entrepreneur who get a like a Kickstarter project. Actually, the product is uh, okay, good, and uh, they got some new innovation for the product. So they just don't have the financial support to keep their business to uh, sustain. So this uh, the the risk you take or new uh, Kickstarter kind of project, or new start uh, company. The structure principle of the LCD 3D printer is actually quite simple. You just need a UV LCD lighting underneath with some uh, lens to make some uh, parallel light beam shining through a uh, LCD screen to uh, cure in the resin inside the resin tank. So I believe if two uh, universal graduate students can form a company to make a 3D printer, all other established 3D printer in China can also make a 10.1 inch 3D printer in, in the near future. So uh, on the next video, I will uh, analyze uh, which one is better for the sun printer is already on the market and uh, which one you can buy or you want to wait for the a better one coming in the near future.